Hey guys, what's going on? It's that Home Theater dude. We're at CDA 2022 at the SimCraft booth. This stuff is super cool. We're going to let you guys know all about it. We're going to do it right at the intro. My name is uh, Sean Patrick McDonald. I'm the co-founder and chief technologist at SimCraft. We are a equipment manufacturer out of Atlanta, Georgia. And we're here at CEDIA 2022 in Dallas, Texas uh, for our first CEDIA show. Uh, we have brought two of our units to uh, build a, a number of different ones, but we brought two of our units here to the show. Uh, to the left is the Apex 6, which is a full motion, six degree of freedom, sim designed for motorsport, of course. We're showcasing racing here, although it can be fit with aviation controls and used for that purpose as well. Uh, what's unique about it is the motion simulation. Uh, it's a technology I've personally been working on for 17 years. It's a, uh, an approach that essentially tries to recreate the way physics work. Uh, in physics, there are six degrees of freedom that rotate on roll, pitch, and yaw and translate on surge, sway, and heave. And for a rigid body like a race car, uh, the, in, in the real world, those degrees of freedom all intersect at the center of mass of the car. And so what we've recreated here is uh, a simulation mechanically of center of mass with six degrees of freedom all intersecting at the center of mass of the cockpit. Uh, so what that means or what, why, that, why that's important is uh, the degrees of freedom become independent of each other and we can create a very high fidelity experience for, uh, for the driver in the seat so that they can feel the rotations of the car and ultimately uh, the handling of the car. On the right side is a smaller unit that does not have roll or heave, uh, two degrees of freedom that are missing here, but it is a Ford off unit with yaw, pitch, surge, and sway. The cockpit in the small unit and the cockpit on the left unit are identical. Uh, and they uh, can be fit with triple screens. They can be fit with a single screen. You can use VR for sure. Lots of different controls and seating options and things like that. But these are our standard specifications. And uh, for Cedia, we felt like it would be more appropriate to run some higher end audio. Um, so we, we built a proper AV rack. Uh, with AV, uh, excuse me, a rack mounted PC and an amplification for not only the 5.1 surround system, but also uh, the, the vibration transducer system that we've designed. Uh, and we're using full call uh, dome speakers in the cockpit. Um, it's the first time we've ever uh, shown this to, uh, to anybody was, was Friday. Uh, we felt it was, uh, was a substantial upgrade over what we've been using in the past. So the software we're running is from uh, iRacing out of uh, Boston, Massachusetts. We've been working with those guys for 12 years as we've built our company and, and professional and amateur motorsport. Uh, because the sims are so real and so lifelike, uh, our client base is traditionally competitive drivers, whether they be pros or uh, gentlemen drivers, who uh, typically would race sports cars on a few weekends out of the year. And the, the technology allows our, our client base to uh, really develop a sense of uh, their own ability and improve that ability through seat time and uh, gain confidence and uh, develop basically a, a higher level of performance of their own uh, capabilities for driving a car at speed. Well, all right, guys, what do you think? Give it, leave a comment down below what you guys thought about the brand new SimCraft uh, offerings out here at CDA 2022. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.